Good morning, everyone, and welcome to beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. We're gonna be doing some fishing today. This guy right here, I've never caught a fish on. But the problem is, I broke the tip off. Yep, just the tip, and I can't use it anymore. But I heard about this really, really weird catfish that's in our neighborhood. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna try to catch that today on that pole. So I gotta make a trip to Walmart to pick up a couple things. All right, we just got to Walmart and I need a couple things so I could catfish today, but it's not gonna be your traditional sense of catfishing. Let me know what you guys think about the GoPro view. I'm gonna take the GoPro inside. I feel a lot more comfortable than taking this hunky thing. Look at this. See, this thing is freaking ginormous. I look like a tool. So now I'm realizing bringing the GoPro in here, there's a thousand different noises. Apparently Walmart got new scanners and everyone's just ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba -deep, ba So if the audio is really bad, I'm sorry. Oh, some live worms. So to be honest, I've actually never went and gone catfishing before. I mean, I've caught catfish, but I've never intentionally went out and tried to get things to go catfishing. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I went on YouTube, like I guess all of us would, and tried to figure out what I should get. So now I'm standing here in Walmart and I'm pretty overwhelmed. And I saw this guy, his little like kit for $5. So we're gonna go with this kit right here. All right, to be honest, I don't even know what kind of sinker to put on here, but I know I wanna get on the bottom of the Hatchie. So, all right, we don't have like a crazy selection of weights here. So we're just gonna grab this. That guy should work right here. By no means am I trying to claim that I know what I'm doing. I have zero clue. Zero. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Now there's a really weird species that I'm going after today that only bite a specific type of bait, if you will. Their mouths are really sensitive and you can't hook them like traditional fish. So I'm gonna have to modify this one just a little bit to make it safe to be able to catch this catfish. All right. This should be everything I need. If not, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna rig this up in the back of the car really fast. That way we can just hop out and get right to it. All right, gotta slap this guy on real fast. All right, now we just gotta modify this. All right, just gonna slip this into here. And there's the setup. We gotta hurry up and get out there because the sun gets up too high. They stop getting really active. So we're basically on a time crunch now. I'm gonna try the Feastables bar. There's the almond one. That's surprisingly good. Yeah. That's good, Mr. Beast. I have the peanut butter one. Mmm. It's pretty fire. Jam up, dude. Jam up. We just got to spot Number one, we have to be super, super quiet while we're here. This is what I'm using. As you can see, there's no hook because these have to be caught very, very gently. We got to sneak up. Hopefully we don't get seen. Let's see. I'm using all of this cactus here as cover. These tend to walk on land. So we have to be very, very careful that we don't get seen getting to our spot. You guys might be familiar with this honey hole right here. This is my shed. Oh, oh, I spot him. I spot him. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Cast to him. Oh, I think he sees it. Oh, he does, he does, he does. He doesn't see me though. He doesn't see me. It's in a really good spot. It's in a really, really good spot. This is really hard. I might have to change my tackle. Oh my God, it's so horrible. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna try and cast right past him here. This is not where I'm gonna switch up. Kind of sneak right here. Let's see if I pitch it. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's on to us. He's on to us. Oh, there we go. There we go. He went for it. As soon as it touched the grass, he went for it. Nice cast past him. There we go. Oh, oh, he's so active. He's so active. There he goes. He's got it. He's got it. Hey, catfishy, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. I was literally calling for this catfish over here and then another one just came, they're, they're schooling right now. I'm in a school of catfish. 
Hello. Oh my God. Oh my God, we got him. All right, we got him. <laughs> Look at that, guys. My PB, PB catfish right there. I wanted to introduce you guys ooh, to my buddy, Sammy. He is a, a feral, well, we found him as a feral kitten, <laughs> as you guys can tell. This is his outdoor time, so I'm just gonna let him, a little quick release here. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> just a little quick release. He was a feral cat that he basically just kind of ended up in our yard. His mom abandoned him and his brother, the black one, that you're gonna see in this really cute kitten b-roll right now. So they both ended up here and Sam kind of came at a right time and I decided to name him after one of the most inspiring people that I ever had a chance to meet in my life, Sergeant Borderlon, and he had such a huge impact on my life. So, you know, Sam came at the right time and I figured he earned the name Sam. He comes inside all the time and it was a fun way to introduce him to the channel. The reason why is we're looking for a cat that can come out with us on adventures because we just think it's fun. We've seen it on TikTok. TikTok. Tick <laughs> why do I do this? We've seen him on TikTok, like really cool outdoorsy cats, and he's got the personality for it. He hops in the RAV4 all the time, and he's just such a goofy, fun outdoors cat. His time is pretty much like during the day. He loves to come out here. Midday, kind of like it is right now, he tends to chill out and just loves to be outside. But then nighttime comes around, he's at that door begging to come in. But yeah, he just hops in, and this is MJ. Hey, baby. We believe that she is the auntie, the auntie of Sam and Luffy, basically once we started feeding the cats, their mom ran off and was nowhere to be found. So we've been taking care of them, feeding them, and now they just hang out here. But no, we are actually gonna go catfishing. We really are. I'm being completely honest though. I love going out and just doing these different things that are have been in my area before. The spot that I'm gonna go fish today is called Ortona Locks. It's out here in a Henry County area. Anyone can go to it. It actually has a spot there for camping. I'm not sure if you can tent camp there, but I've seen plenty of RVs and things like that. But right on the bottom, they do have a little spot to fish. And that's where we're gonna go today and see if we can snag a couple catfish or just one. Just one, something, right? I'll be bringing this rod and this is the other one. I just bought this reel yesterday. I haven't caught a fish on it. It is a 2500, so hopefully we don't catch on to like a super huge catfish because, nah, hopefully we do. That'd be fun. That's what I'm bringing today. That's what I have. Let's go fishing. Welcome to the world famous Ortona Locks. Right, it's not really world famous, but in my first video that I posted back, we actually caught the fish down here. So I'm giving you guys a whole different perspective of, I guess, that angle. All right, if we just hop the fence right here, you can see that's where we were putting the boat up against, right there in that corner and casting into here. What sucks is, and I didn't know this because I've been gone for so many years, this right here used to be a side that you can fish down, but apparently it went bad and they have it all closed off now. So the only side to fish is the other side. And that's if you're trying to fish for snook and things like that, because they like to run where the water is running right down there. So everyone's fishing up on that side. But we're not gonna be fishing there today. We're gonna be fishing down here today for something a little bit different. Oh wow, the water is running. Oh dude, let's go. This actually could be really, really good for us. That means the fishing in Florida is about to get really, really good. This was not even that high last time I was here. It wasn't running at all. All right, this is gonna be our little spot here. So let's go ahead and rig up. I think the first, oh man. I think I'm gonna start off with this guy right here today. I'm gonna go ahead and get the line all prepped. All right, so there we go. Just like that. And we're just gonna let it ride. First cast. All right, I've been fishing for about 30 minutes or so. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I, I think I need a bobber. Anytime I've caught, caught, catch, caught, anytime I've caught catfish, there you go. Anytime I've caught catfish, it, it was just at the bottom. So that's what I went with today, is just throwing it at the bottom. I don't know, what do you guys think?
fish this spot for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, something like that. There's a spot over here I want to check out though that my brother told me about. And you know, when he says something about fishing, I got to listen to it. So let's go on an adventure. Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So uh, the guy was kind enough to let me know that FWC will give me a citation for going over here, but they, there is no trespassing signs. So that's what I'm going to go with. Literally no signs. Where at? Oh, hey, look. I got the gator. <laughs> Tiny little guy. Try to get him to come a little closer. Maybe I can. Uh, oh, shoot, that was a cast. <laughs> Look at him. Hey, he's not bad. He's a decent little size. A five footer, maybe. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> caught the gator. No, give me. That's a no light bait needed. I accidentally caught a gator. I was just trying to get him to come closer and he he was Oh my gosh. Oh he's No, he's gone with it. Bro, can I get my no lock bait needed? There we go. I got it. Whew. These things are not cheap, dude see any damage to it oh my gosh that's what i get for messing with the gator i think i'm going to switch to a spot that's off the highway that doesn't have a lot of people around there's a bridge that passes through the highway the canal goes through and it lets out into the same water here the caloosahatchee it's a little bit down the street let's see if it has some fish you know what Another little switch up before we go to that different spot. I'm gonna throw on the little rooster tail right in here and see if we can get anything little to come out from underneath the bridge. Hopefully none of these rocks are loose, cause if so, I am going. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 I got something, I got something. <gasps> oh, we got a bass! Oh no, I lost him! There was a bass right there, no way! Oh, we got a bass! Oh no, I lost him! Oh no way! I thought that was a little itty bitty fish! That was like a two pound bass! Guys, I really didn't think there was gonna be a bass just chilling right there. What? I didn't, that's why I didn't set the hook hard. I thought it was just a little fish. Dude, I can't believe I missed that. No! <laughs> I saw his mouth come out of the water and I just... Ah. Uh, I knew, I knew at that point I was just, it was too late. I was gonna lose them. Honestly, this is why I wanted to start ooh, making these videos to show what it's like going out, trying something new for the first time and giving a realistic view. I mean, it's easy to go out. Oh, that's a, look, look at the otter. Hey buddy, hello. <laughs> He's just looking, hello. He was square. I hope he doesn't, they're mean, aren't they? Hey, we good, right? Yeah, we're good. He said we're good. And that's so cool. Even though we're not catching a bunch of fish today, we're seeing a lot of Florida wildlife, which always makes this super, super awesome. Because where I was in Texas, you don't see this many different type of wildlife in one little trip. And we haven't even been like far. I think uh, I think I blew it in this spot with that bass. I can't believe I did that. Literally first cast in there, I thought it was like a small little bluegill or something like that. He like babied it. He was a decent size. I thought, <laughs> bug. <laughs> Welcome to Florida fishing. Let's go to the next spot. At this point, I'm going for any type of species. We're just gonna throw different stuff out there. I'll probably tie up something for a catfish here in just a minute. But since we have the rooster tail still tied on, I'm gonna throw it around underneath the bridge and see if we can get anything on it. Surprisingly, all up along the edge, I didn't see any little bait fish or anything. It's kind of weird. Let's try catfishing. We'll throw it out there, sit out here for just a little bit. <laughs> Ow. You okay? 
starting to realize why I don't catfish. This is boring. I've just been sitting here. Ugh. I'm definitely feeling a paddleboard video coming up because this bank fishing stuff is just not for me anymore. Well, it's now like middle of the day. I'm hot. I'm hungry. I think this adventure's coming to an end. We're gonna go with good old trusty rooster tail. I did see a couple little fish just from the bank when I pulled up that I could definitely snag with this guy. Now, it's been a few days since I caught a fish. Almost had a bass earlier, but Definitely fumbled that one. Oh, we got a bass! Oh, no, I'm awesome! Try to be a little quiet here. Oh, something just swam off right there. A little bass right there. All right, I fished this whole side, but what I've noticed is it's really windy out. And one thing I haven't thrown in a really long time is the spinnerbait. So let's throw the spinnerbait on and see if that does the trick. All right, there we go. That's what I'm throwing. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. See little bass right here, tiny little guys. We can definitely try to catch those, but I'm gonna fish all around this grass. Maybe if we can pull some out. Oh yeah, there's a lot more action up on this side. I fished everything up along over there. I didn't see a lot, but there's definitely a lot more little fish coming up over here. Oh, baby gator over here. Oh, there we go. Got a little bass. He looked like maybe about a pound or so. You know what? This is the same exact canal that goes all the way down to where we were fishing before. I can actually see the little hut down there. Oh, I just got hit. <laughs> I just got hit right there. Dang it. That kind of looked like a little peacock. I wonder if that was a peacock. I'm really desperate, so I decided to throw the rooster tail back on. We're coming over where I saw those little fish earlier. And we're gonna break today's skunk. Air fishing. It was literally easier to catch an actual cat with a lure than a fish today. What the heck? All right, this is where we saw that one bass earlier, about a pound or so. Oh, oh, oh! We got him! We got him! Let's go! Let's go! No! Oh, yes, we came back. We switched it up. It came back on the rooster tail. And it did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Ah, there we go. Dude, yes! Look, I told you it was like a one pounder. We threw it in there with the spinnerbait didn't get them and old trusty does it for us the rooster tail let's freaking go <laughs> i've worked all day for this guy right here oh. mm. <laughs> it feels so freaking good my wife has just been chilling in the car she's recording right now she's like baby i got all day we can do this i don't need all day no more <laughs> i broke the skunk We finally did it. Oh my gosh. That was wild. I literally saw that same exact fish earlier when I threw the spinnerbait in there. It just, it didn't work out. But came back with the rooster tail, got him, made today possible. I can't believe it. We searched everywhere for something today. We missed a bass. We've seen, we caught an alligator, technically. I mean, we didn't get them all the way in, but caught an alligator. It's just been like one thing after another today. But it's been a lot of fun getting out enjoying these types of adventures is what i really really oh, enjoy doing gotta take the brawl off because it's hot but i do want to appreciate you for watching today's video i know it was like kind of all over the place it was definitely a journey a journey oh my god i'm out of breath because i've walked this thing you guys didn't even see it probably like four or five times kept going and going and going and looking <sighs> we did it I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, that was way too low. Stay strong. Oh, we got a bat. Oh, no, I'm awesome. I'm hot. I'm hungry.
Look at that, guys, my PB. That's what I get for messing with the gator. <laughs>